Back on Fiat Homarnas, we joined CIA chef instructor Lars Kronmark for a dockside demonstration of several varieties of pickled herring. Accompanying Lars Kronmark is Steve Gilliba, a certified master chef and the executive chef for Unilever Food Solutions. Steve, we're going to talk about herrings. And uh, I'd like to show you how herrings is made from the salted stage, how it's made and becomes a marinated herring dish, and how we can make different variations. So herrings comes in a salted fillet like this, very uh, rough. And the only way you can use this is just like when you desalt cod. You basically water it uh, for 24 hours to get the salt off. After the salt has comes off the herring, it looks a little bit different. It looks a bit smaller. And the herring is now desalted, but quite flavorless. The next thing we need to do is to put it into a, a herring brine. This herring brine is one part vinegar. In Sweden and in Scandinavia, they use a very strong vinegar. It has a very high acid. The second part, so it's one part vinegar, two parts sugar, and three parts water. This herring is just placed in this marinade for about 24 hours minimum. It can stay in here for as long as two to three months. At this stage, as you can see, it has onions and carrots and bay leaves and mustard seeds. White herring is never sold whole like this. It's always cut up. Herring is placed on the table, cut into four pieces on an angle. It's very important to remember that there's two kinds of herrings in Sweden. There's a fatty herring and a lean herring. I guess they explained also, I think the, the herring from the Baltic is actually smaller and less fatty, which is That's more right. the local. And from north, it's fattier and... They, they swim less and they eat more, they eat better food. So the Baltic herring is always the skinny one we see many times back in the United States, we see the Baltic herring. At this point, I can make this herring into several different flavors. First one is a mustard herring. Mustard, sour cream, seasoning. Second one is a lincolnberry, which consists of sour cream, marinade, and creme fraiche, and lincolnberry sauce. And the last one is easily done. It's simply the marinated herring, served with some of the marinated onions. And here's your first herring table with strong aged cheese. This cheese is actually aged for 40 months. Served with cracker bread, or knickbrot, as we call it in Sweden. The last one is really my favorite. It's the plain, simple uh, vinegar marinated right. herring that I explained earlier. So this, this is actually the base for all, for all these. Correct. Really. I Correct. mean, they use this as the base. Correct. And I see we have some aquavit that definitely goes with this. Yes. You, you want to try, try one? Sure, of course. Let's go ahead and have this. is what the Sweden, uh, Swedish people drink uh, with the herring bit and also in many all parts of Scandinavia. And this is a... Uh, O.P. Anderson, it's a very classic one. You notice how small the glasses are, Steve? And the bottle is not frozen. Which is many people believe that you have to freeze the aquavit. Uh, obviously, you freeze the aquavit or the vodka, you don't taste it. We heard that earlier from Geert, that uh, if you keep the room temperature, you smell and you taste all the different herbs, herbs that's that in the aquavit. We have three versions here. But well, let's go ahead and taste this one. Cheers, let's go. Cheers. Delicious. Very good. What do you taste? Cumin, a little caraway. Yes, dill, and of course it's made on potato spirit. 